I'm Terry Parker. Uh, I've, uh, I work in the Library and Media Resources Center. Uh, uh, I've been there since 1981. But, but I mean, it didn't take long from 69, from when we first went over and we see this lynching emblem there. Not, um, certainly racism didn't leave in 16, okay, it didn't leave in 73, and it, it, and it hasn't left, it hasn't left then, but I think that people begin to make an attempt to uh, live together, okay? Uh, it certainly didn't. There was a place across the street from um, the high school, Dunbar High School, old Dunbar High School. It was called Crowder's, Crowder's Hamburgers and Hot Dogs. This person made these ha homemade hamburgers that were like by hand, and they were um, really good. And the only people uh, who kind of knew about that was the community, with the exception of the few white delivery people who delivered the meat and, the, and who de delivered the bread and who delivered the, the sodas and stuff like that. So occasionally you would see uh, people come over um, uh, just to get these hamburgers and hot dogs. This was in 68, 69, who were not black. But in 71 and 72 and 73, you know, you begin to see more and more people traveling in and out of uh, East Spencer who were white. And that's, and that's clearly directly related to, because then you started having kids playing football and basketball, and then you started having interracial dating. And you attribute this to school integration. Yes, yeah, yeah clearly, clearly, okay? That was no interracial dating that I knew of before 1968, but I'm sure it existed, but I didn't see any of it, okay? But in 71 to 72, you saw a lot of it, okay? And, and you would go, you would actually go, uh, go to town, as we said, go up to the business area, and you would see kids walking down the street holding hands. I mean, this, that's how fast it happened. Now, they, what year was that? This was 72 and 73, right before I came to New York. So it only took a few years before this, and it was very common at that time.